Hi, and welcome to a short presentation of The Demon Road, a theory test novel. Let me ask you a question. How many hours of study time are you expecting to put in before being ready to take your theory test? Is it days, weeks, of wading through reams of multiple choice questions, then rereading it because your brain rebelled the first time around from the tedium? Did you know that there are more than 1,200 questions in the DSA's theory test question bank? Any of these questions you could be asked on your test. It's perhaps no wonder then that between 50 and 60% of all applications fail their theory test the first time around. So forget about days or weeks. You're facing months of burning the midnight oil. How would it be then if you could dispense with all that study pain and anxiety and have the whole thing wrapped up in approximately three hours? Well stick around because that's exactly what the theory test novel has now made possible. And there it is. Now a common question people ask is what materials should I study? Well of course you should be reading the highway code but know that this is a rule book and anyone that gets effortless high grades in tests they do so because they have an intrinsic understanding of the material it speaks to them in the currency of their own brain and that's what the demon road a theory test novel is going to do for you now the reason I wanted to write this was because I spent my own entire school life frustrated with the traditional methods of learning and I felt like I was permanently stuck in neutral and unable to get the help or attention I needed from the teachers. At some point along the way I just gave up trying all, all together and I found another way of getting their attention instead. I became the class clown and I earned my more, more than my fair share of trips to the headmasters as a result. Now, it wasn't until 10 years after leaving school, stuck in a dead-end job and going nowhere fast that I finally discovered a love for education and this in turn turned into a bit of an addiction. Now what was it that switched me on? Well it was a course of memory training techniques. It promised me the world and it delivered. Suddenly, well not so suddenly perhaps but after some time of studying this I could retain large amounts of information and I could recall it so precisely that anyone who don't know the memory techniques would think it was impossible. I adapted many of these techniques and I even invented a few specifically for the theory test novel and I put them to work. But being able to retain the information and recall it is only half the battle. How information is presented to us is often the other big barrier to successful learning and understanding. Get this wrong and your brain just switches off, be it from a droning teacher, an uninspiring textbook or a cluttered user unfriendly website. Now I bet you can think of at least one of those right now. Now in order to make the theory test novel a success I was determined to turn all these self-defeating trends on their heads and develop a study tool far more powerful, efficient and effective than anything else that I've been ever seen before. So what makes it the most powerful study tool then? Because of the unique way the information is packaged and presented to you. Now when you read The Demon Road, a theory test novel, you will barely even be aware that your brain is hoovering up the information in the background. I like to think of it as supercharged subliminal learning and all that you need to do is relax and enjoy the ride and a really good read as well. Now what makes it the most efficient study tool? Because as I stated earlier the demon road is quite literally going to reduce your study time down from about three months to three hours. What makes it the most effective study tool? Well, unlike repetitious methods of study, where the information has a short shelf life before fading, a bit like trying to recall a dream after waking up, the Demon Road presents the information in an unobtrusive way that bypasses the fussy mechanism of the conscious thinking mind, and it slips directly to your long-term memory, 
where it will, it will stay for you for years to come or even a lifetime. Now before I finish this little presentation I'm going to prove to you beyond doubt with a few exclusive examples from this book what exactly then is The Demon Road, a theory test novel? Well, simply put, it's a hum humorous, mystery, thriller novel with a splash of romance. It revolves around three professional getaway drivers, Green, Amber and Red. No Mr Pink. They find themselves pitted against each other in the round the race, Briti around the British Isles Road race, that makes the cannonball lo run look tame and where each scene involves one aspect of the theory test. Now where better to learn about braking issues than when you are out of control and careering down a winding mountain road? Where better to learn about level crossings than when you are broken down in the middle of one while a train hurtles towards you at 100 miles per hour? Where better to learn about motorways, hazard warning lights, safe distances, and jackknifing lorries and being behind the wheel of one while it's happening. Now although the scenes themselves are often impactful enough that they need no extra help for later recollection of the issue they addressed, some information has been given extra reinforcement with specifically tailored memory techniques. The two examples I'm going to offer you from the book now are the stopping distance in meters at 60 miles per hour and motorway studs and where they are positioned on the motorway in relation to their color. Now imagine for a moment you're driving along a two-way country road it's a 60 miles per hour speed limit on a two-way road you're in the new forest it's a clear sunny day the road stretches out before you with not another car in sight you decide to exceed the speed limit for a while when suddenly a lemon bounces off the roof of your car. You look around but you can't see any lemon trees. Another bounces off then more and it, now it's raining lemons. The air fills with the scent of lemons. Now ahead of you in the road you suddenly notice the tarmac heaving up. Then this angry speed demon steps out of the middle of the road in the shape of a lemon tree. Now you're forced to brake hard to avoid a head-on crash. Now if you want to know if Amber succeeds in the book, then there's one good way to find out. Now the anchor word for this scene is lemon tree, or to put another way, 7-3, or another way again, 73 metres. Now 10 years from now, if you're asked the stopping distance at 60 miles per hour, I've no doubt you could recall the lemon tree scene without any trouble. Want an easy way to learn the order of the positioning for the different coloured motorway studs then? Well the answer is quite literally in the motorway. See red studs are found lining the hard shoulders of motorways. White studs depict the dividing lanes in between while the amber coloured studs define the hard shoulder. The purpose of this actually is so that you can identify your position on the motorway when visibility reduces so much that you can see nothing else. Now as luck would have it, the order of these studs are to be seen in the word itself of motorway, RWA, motorway. Now these examples are exclusive to the theory test novel and you can't find them anywhere else. Approximately 250 scenes make up this entire story, so there are many many more for you to discover so I'm going to say now, many thanks for listening. I ask just one thing. When you do read The Demon Road, and its explosive twist ending, and it propels you through your test and to success, please return and leave your review on Facebook or on Amazon. Um, you, you can find me at a, on my Facebook page, um, Theory Test Novel. Um, good luck for your future, and that's it from now for me. Thank you.